ชูสไตล์นี่เป็นที่เขาเล่นไม่ใช่ม uh, ่ใช่ Ben I'm Pam and welcome to the first ever episode of What, What are you doing this week? So this show is g o i n g to be about how we can use our free time in a very meaningful manner yeah. and still have fun. But this show is also about how you can translate your kind thoughts into action because I'm sure you have kind thoughts. Mm-hmm. Hey, okay, I just really want to know. What we're doing here today? Okay, so actually we are going to speak to someone inside because actually I don't know. Why couldn't we have just done that from the start? Why do we have to like do this? h a f a s t e r jump, faster. Why so fancy? Aisha. Oh, Aisha. Aisha. Oh, hi, hi, hi Aisha. <laughs> Yeah. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, so welcome to Youth Call Singapore. Thank, Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is actually a place where youth can come in to learn, volunteer, lead, and connect. Mm. So uh, later on, I'll be bringing you into r e g a n a t Dungeon, which is one of our spaces where you can really come in to just um, chill and take a breather uh, from like your daily routine. So I'll yeah. be bringing you into the space. We have a peer supporter there, so we'll be meeting her as well. Okay. So shall we go? Let's okay. go. Yeah. Okay, so going up, go. right? Yeah, we're going this way. Oh, check out yeah. this dungeon. Let me see if I can film some TikToks. Oh my god, stop it! So over here, I have one of our peer supporters, Shirley. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Hello. Hi. I am a peer supporter here at Project r e g a Awesome. And I'll be bringing you through the activities later on. One of the suggestions of ways to be creative is uh, paint one of your friends, and uh, I'm just gonna do a Pam portrait today. Should I say Pam t r i p I'll be here all week. Hey, let's go. Got a red hair. I'll give it a red hair. Wow. <laughs> What does my hair look like? The top of a Japanese roof. So. Uh, My my painting is called uh, Essence of Pam. Wow. It's an expression of your bubbly self when you wake up in the morning. Mm. Yeah, actually my bangs look like that in the morning. Is it? Yeah. Well, you're welcome. I have uh, successfully captured Essence of Pam. Thank you. On a scale of one to ten, I'll give you ten for effort and creativity. I'll nice. give you seven for rudeness. So this is my painting of Ben. It's called Midlife Crisis. <laughs> And um, it's a cry for help, which I am taking seriously. Yeah, thank you. So he's stressed, and if you turn it upside down, he's not stressed oh. anymore. I award you um, three TikToks. Out wow! Of two. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, right. That's the currency these days. Okay, okay. Let's go check out more of what the dungeon has to offer. So, what are some pitfalls that we should look out for? Example, things we should not say to someone struggling with mental health. Mm. I think some of the things are uh, really to look out for uh, is really how the person responds to you first. Uh, I think creating a safe space is actually really important. And then from there, if let's say they uh, feel a bit more comfortable and they start opening up, that's where we bring in the conversation on how they are that day. Then what happens if let's say they tell us or they share with us how they're feeling, right? But we Um, don't really know how to answer because I know that at the end of the day we're not professional, so I, I wouldn't want to say the wrong thing or so or advice. Mm-hmm. I'll give them the wrong advice. Good question because I think that's uh, really valid. Like most mm. people really don't know what to do or say in such a situation. Mm. Um, what we want to avoid uh, usually as peer supporters is giving advice. I think it's really okay to just say mm. like we are not really mental health professional. Mm. I want to listen to you and I want to support you. Do you need company and everything? So since we are talking about um, the topic of really supporting someone, right? Let's do a bit of role play. Oh, Ready? drama okay. school. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. so why I cut okay. my teeth. We're gonna try it. Um, Let's go. Okay. So Ben, you're gonna be a secondary school student who yes. is <laughs> facing a lot of stress in school because of exams coming up. Oh, it's okay. been a while, but I'll try. Can you pour his feelings on me? So um, Pam, you are gonna be the table mate. So you are a bit concerned. You see that Ben has been like. Quite sad, has been quite stressed at school. So, okay. what, how will you actually support him or approach him? Okay. Eh, hey, you never do homework. Ah? For what? Uh, do homework. What's the point? 
Ah, so stupid. Eh, hey, where got stupid? Don't say like that la. Huh? Normally all the stupid people uh, say they stupid but actually they get A eh. I'm really stupid. You're not stupid. My Chinese 2 out of 200. Same! I only spell my name correct. <laughs> my name was so wrong. Parents say if I, if I don't do Chinese, they won't buy me my latest uh, PlayStation 1. It was Aya, a long time ago. PlayStation only. So, mm, one yeah. of the things that I noticed is uh, invalidation of feelings. Yeah. So, I mean, there's something we want to avoid. Nothing wrong, I think. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. It's very common. It's very common. Really? 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 No, when did it common. happen? Uh, when you said, Aya, Chinese only. Oh. Uh, oh, so oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Common. Yeah, it's very common, really mm. common response. So not to worry, you're not yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, So what we might want to suggest instead uh, can be like, oh, um, suggesting what are some other ways that, that uh, you can improve, I guess. We say out of good intention, like, hey, uh, mm -hmm. Chinese only, you know what I mean? As yeah, a way yeah. of dismissing and, you mm -hmm. know, belittling the problem, but you, we never really know how big the problem is for that person. Yeah, right? so, okay. like, so hopefully these tips will be useful for you. We are going to go into a mission for both of you. <laughs> so we're going to bring you all up. Am uh, I going to, to talk to floor. a real troubled teen? We're just going to go into a room okay. where we have someone in there who uh, you will try to support. Uh, mm. And it will be a special guest. Alright, so welcome Ben and Pam to the place where you will be providing support later. You can come over there. Should the guest is me. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Did that work? <laughs> Wait. I, I, have, you I, have, guess, I have issues now. I need to be called the wings here. She was scared. You go yeah. see the replay. <laughs> Okay, before I, I share about some of my uh, issues, yeah, I I, I want to like ask you guys, right? Uh, earlier in our, our the days of our youth, right? Yeah. How aware were you about like mental health and wellness? Mm. And not very much. I was just saying, you know, like I think we weren't, we didn't know the terms, we didn't know how to phrase it, we just knew when we were sad, and we didn't really know what to say or so. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. so yeah. like in Singapore, right? Uh, based on our population, right? One in seven Singaporeans will experience some form of mental uh, issue in their lifetime. And out of four people, right, three people won't seek treatment. So based on your knowledge and experience, why do you think this is so? I realised that it's not because of the stigma that the people around them have, but rather they have this expectation that they set for themselves. You know, I, I never thought that one day I could be that person. You know, yeah. I always thought that I'm going to experience the people around me having mental issues. But, but yeah. You know, guys, sometimes with your, with your brothers, you might once in a while tell them that you're sad. But like, yeah. not every guy you can go like, yo, bro, I, I feel, feel this. You know, yeah, like, yeah. it's weird for sure. Uh, so, I think the past month, I lost motivation in, in everything that I used to love. And my, my friends would tell me, uh, we can still dine in too, why, why, do, you, why do you want to go out? Then, but I just don't feel like seeing anybody or doing anything. Have you been trying to revisit the things that you loved doing as a child? Like maybe mm. if you enjoyed painting as a hobby? I kind of lost the, the feel to do it. Okay. It, it, it's kind of weird because uh, when I think back about the happy memories that I had doing uh, these things, right? Those happy memories make me like sad because uh, I don't I no longer enjoy those things anymore, and mm. I I can't find anything that can give me that same happiness that I used to to feel. I really admire you, uh, in a sense of I don't think anyone in Singapore kind of like experiences the things you do. Yeah, you know what I mean it, it's a it's a weird mix of like being in the public eye, but also being a uh, hyper creative and wanting to do well but at the same time knowing that putting yourself out there is a risk and like you've done a really good job honestly just Thank like you. managing who you are staying true to who you, who you are yourself i feel you know and i think you should give yourself credit for that i actually feel a lot better really. <laughs> <laughs> i personally feel that uh, it's an amazing thing to have a place like reground in singapore uh, because like youths can come here and hang out, spend their time here doing something fun, safe and healthy. 
And I hope to see uh, more of these initiatives in Singapore and I hope society as a whole will grow together and uh, show more care and concern for our fellow Singaporeans who might be going through a difficult time. What a day! We had so much fun today. It was such a meaningful and insightful day. Like very wholesome. Very, very wholesome, eh? I yeah. love it, eh? Big shout out to Tosh Rock for joining us on the journey, of being super open. Uh, Tosh, you are amazing. Just like what Pam wrote on the board. And yeah. you have taught us how to love ourselves, just like what Ben wrote on the board. We are so grateful uh, to Reground by Youth Corps for having us today. Big shout out to them. Yes, I mean, this is such a great place, you know. If you're going through something and you just want someone to talk to, you can always pop by. But even if you're not, you can always just come here and recalibrate yourself. There's a lot of activities for you, like you've seen us do origami, right? And then there's art jamming, yeah. there's mini cuts. It's a lot of stuff. So fun. And uh, if you have a heart for people around you who are going through some mental health issues and you're not necessarily a medical professional, that's totally okay. Just like what we did today, come by, become a peer supporter, get some training. It's a very enriching process and you know, you can be that bridge for that people around you uh, for the next step. Just learn how to be a good person. And you'll realise that by volunteering, it's a really meaningful way to spend your free time. Hey, what's Wait, is, 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 is something on my back. Oh, is it? Wanna... Yeah. So wait, you want to check it out? Oh, 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 what? Oh, is that What's a QR that? code? Is it a QR code? Oh my god, it's a QR code on a t shirt. Wow. We're living in 2055. So scan the QR code and join us on our open show yeah. because this is our way of asking you to come on board with us on our next few episodes. Please scan the QR code, join us. We, we're not even sure what we're going to be doing. Yeah, How I mean, exciting is that? If you come on board, maybe you can, you can let us know. Yeah. On, G on this open show. I guess we'll find out together. But in the meantime, uh, we'll see you the next episode on What, what are, are You doing, doing This week? week? But seriously, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing right now? What are you doing on your couch or on your bed? Scrolling through TikTok. Or huh? on your uh, toilet bowl. Ew. Still TikTok? TikTok still? Come on, that's so sad. Any videos you want? That's so sad. Actually, I'm going to watch some TikTok right now. Oh, okay. I, me maybe me too. See ya. See ya.